Hello everybody. Today I will be showcasing those Chevys I mentioned in the last video and I will be filing them away into the collection. Uh, this will be the Hot Wheels portion of that video. I don't know if I'm going to include the Matchbox or just save that for a different video. We will see. So um, yeah, we're going to get right into it and start with the 71 Chevy El Camino. It threw me off because I said Chevy, but there isn't actually a Chevy. It doesn't say Chevy, it just says anyone El Camino. Love the casting. This release is kind of, eh, I don't know why I got it. Well, I might not keep it. For now, I'll keep it because there's a space in the case, but if I ever need to make room, I don't know if I will keep it. I like the red one better. I really do not want to come out. The cool thing about this release, though, is the matte paint finish. Well, of course, you got the flames. The yellow windows kind of ruin it for me, though. So, all you get for decals are the flames and yellow wheels. Or yellow trim on the wheels. It's a cool release. It will be added to the collection for now. Uh, I like the red one better, though. The re the recolor. Dang, I'm kind of going a little fast here. Maybe I can do the Matchbox. Which, they both use the Steelies, which are nice. Not much else for details besides the Flames. Which is the name of the set, Hot Wheels Flames. Really cool casting. And here's another El Camino. Custom 71 El Camino, so it's the same model. This one came... Oh, this is the same act, too. 2020. This one came from... Like, 2011, right? From that Team Hot Wheels era. It's pretty cool. Whoa, what happened to the window? Look at all that oil on the window. Factory grease. I wonder if it uses the same window piece. Oh no, it doesn't. Those, those These black louvers um, kind of intrude into the window. They probably could have used the same piece. I mean, it's almost the same body. It looks like it's based on it because it's the same length. The tailgate is down, so that, that might throw it off. Base is almost the same. It just... Just has a uh, lip in the front end here. So yeah, very similar. I mean, they should be the same year. But uh, casting-wise, they are. And of course, this has all the stuff in the back. I don't know what exactly this truck did. I know they have a real one that's all black. But you know what? While we're here, I will take out the Matchbox. Here's a Matchbox 70 Chevy El Camino. Love this release. This is an older one. I don't know when it's from. This is a nice casting. It's just a little, a little large. No details in the front. It's mostly focused on the Chevelle stripes. The SS stripes, I should say. And the side details. Silver trim. Or, yeah, chrome trim. It should be chrome. Yeah, your Chevelle... Or your El Camino badge. I think it does. It, it, it's very much a Chevelle. I like it, so it's still older. It's a year older. This casting dates 1997, which is interesting. 2015, it was retooled. I think they got rid of the metal bed because I know the version I have has a. The other version I have, I should say, has the metal bed. So let's put them into the case. This is um, Chevy's. This is actually the tail end of Chevelle. And then Chevelle moves straight into the El Camino. I don't know. I don't know what goes here. Uh, I'll have to check my spreadsheet. I did make a spreadsheet. I don't know, some friends liked it. Some didn't. 
Uh, some said it was like a lot too much for them to handle, which I get. But for me, it's helpful because if I remove a car or if I make a spot for a car that I haven't even opened yet, I know where it goes. And I checked this earlier. I know that one goes there. I know I'm like very... And then these go here. Kind of rounding out the shell. This is... Is this a 70? It is 71. Yeah, yeah. So this one is the all metal version, which... I don't know how many of these there are, or how many releases the all metal. This is probably the best release of it. it might have been an ultra hot, or not ultra hot, a uh, hot custom. Here's an older version, which I might boot because it's kind of rough. Um, now that I've got newer versions or this version. And then this one, actually, I don't have a spot for it. The Zamek. Because I moved straight into Monte Carlo. Um, yeah, that's interesting. But speaking of Monte Carlo, how about you get the Matchbox one opened up? I mentioned this one in the. Uh, actually, I can add the, the gold one to the case too because I haven't. I mentioned this one in the video, the gold one, and I should have opened it in that video, but I didn't. Well, we're opening it now. This is definitely better than the gold one, the black. By far. There are headlights, grill, everything is... I think the decals just look a little better on the black than the than the gray. Though the headlights still look good. I don't know what's up with the taillights and the gray one. Nah, they're, they're, they're the same on the black one too. So it's pretty much the same decal pass. I didn't change the decals on this one. Which, I, it works. It works keeping it clean. I think the black looks a lot better though. So, where do they go in the case? I don't even know, actually. Oh, I'm gonna say here and here only because I know the Hot Wheels version goes here, unless it's a newer version. I think it's a 76, though. What are these? Oh, that's an 88. Maybe it's an 86 I'm thinking of, the Hot Wheels one. I don't remember. We'll put them there for now. I can always move them because I don't know what goes here. Yeah, that's getting pretty, pretty full. Love the Impala. Got a couple Impalas in here. Oh, yeah. That's next right there. The uh, Caprice. The Caprice is next. Which actually, the green one is downstairs. I don't need the green one. I haven't added the green one into the case. But I can, there's a spot for it. But we can get the red one, which actually the artwork is different. Let's see, different wheels. These wheels, of course, are much better. I would not want those wheels on there. Uh, but yeah, love this casting. I collect this casting. Yeah, my trash can's getting full. That's good though, because I really don't need all these in the collect or in the packaging. That's why I'm doing this rapid fire opening video. Love the white trim on it, and that is all you get, and that's all you need. Looks so clean. And the tan interior, chrome trim, and of course you got the police version, which is the newer, the newer model. Uh, it's a little. I heard that the bumpers are a little rounded than they should be. It looks okay to me. I know it's not the greatest casting that Matchbox has done. I can see where those points are coming from about the rounded bumpers. This is, the, of course, the Canadian police livery, the Mountain Police, which was saw one other time on the Dodge Charger, which 
I could have brought for comparison, but I didn't. Miss opportunity, I know. Really clean livery, though. And, of course, you get half a tail light and half a headlight. Looks good from the side, though. And I have... I have two of these, I think. This is the, this is the first release that I have. But I also have the nine-pack one from last year. Now, with the Caprice here, I can add the Matchbox one. Or the, the older one, I should say. Right there next to the first edition. Of course, we'll do Caprice after Impala. And then I have to switch to a different case. And actually, I do not have enough spots picked out for this one. That's a mistake that, oh, it's going to be kind of, kind of messy. The green matchbox one should be here, and this should be after it, but uh, we'll put it here for now. Next to the Yachtming version of the Caprice. And the Caprice is the last Chevy car on my list, and then it moves into trucks. I kind of, I separated it that way rather than um, chronological, or not, well, um, numerical order, or alphabetical order. <laughs> Dang. Uh, I did, actually did Ford alphabetically, but I did Chevy by, like, model. Like, cars first. Actually, sports cars first. The Corvette and Camaro were first. Then the sedans and the muscle cars. And then now, trucks. Which leads me to the Chevy Love, which I actually do not have spots for. So this is... Uh, I'm going to have to mess with these cases later. Because I did not know how unprepared I was for this video. But I have two Chevy Loves from 2019 here. The Zamac, which actually Mike Dyson gave me in a trade. And I have my, uh, this is the original one I bought in 2019. I never did find the Zamac, but I do love the Chevy Love, which is why I really wanted the Zamac. I don't care for the green version though, but we'll take it for now until I get a better version. Actually, the version, I might keep the yellow one. I think I have the truck version of it from 2021. This one has the uh, retro striping on it, though, so I do like that. This is definitely a cool casting. You got your little headers. Almost like a derby car. Of course, this is based on the Datsun 520. Which I saw at um street scene no rear bumper on this one pretty cool little casting i like the zamac version better i know mike dyson's probably like why did it take you so long to open this well i'm slow i typically just don't open cars i always do it on video i don't know why i just never do it on my own and just, I think it's funner uh funner's not a word is it it's a uh, it's more fun to uh open it on camera and look at it for the first time this is this is definitely a cool one I love the white blue and the white and blue stripes on the silver body the blue wheels kind of are iffy uh, I think that's a little too much I want to have mined those wheels on there, but I do like the, the deco on this one. It fits the Zamac more. Uh, oh yeah, the sunroof open is a cool touch too. What a cool one. So yeah, I don't have spots for those ones. So actually two Zamacs in this video. That, that wasn't really planned, but don't got spots for them. What's next? Oh yeah, I don't have spots for these ones either. Oh, I do actually. Okay, let me open them first. These two also came from Mike Dyson. 83 Silverados. Now this one I do... He gave me the idea of lifting it. And this one I probably will. This is the one I want to lift. And 
and remove the decals and just give it a nice lift. And I think that would be cool. So I think he did something similar. I do have the new... I just I did get the green Hot Wheels one, the newest one. So maybe I'll do a similar thing to that. Or maybe I'll take the window from it because yellow window's funny. I do like the chrome base on this one. But he also gave me this one, which I'm definitely not going to customize. This is a version I really wanted for a long time because of the metal base. On a mainline. Well, it's basically a mainline. This is the Chevy truck set. Never really found this set. The only one I found on my own was the F-150, which is probably my, one of my favorites of the set. I like the 83, and I wish I would have gotten the 69 too. But... The Dodge Power Wagon's kind of funny. I don't care for it. Sorry, I had to cut it there. Um, yeah, I don't care for the Power Wagon. That that one was going to be impossible to find. I wish I could have gotten that Power Wagon. I don't remember what color it was. Uh, but yeah. Let's pull it open. This is definitely a heavy piece. Oh yeah. Love the wheels on this one. They look really good. I mean, when you put light on them, I guess not. Love the Silverado badge on it. The striping. The hood stripes. This is a cool one. And of course the metal base. Which we can compare. And they are different castings. I guess, was this one retooled? Actually, this might be the old tooling. Because it says 2014. This one says 2007. So actually, the metal base version is a newer casting. But I mean, I mean the body's probably the same. So actually, I can add those ones to the case as well. So, um, this is my 83 Silverados. I have four. Well, actually, no, I have five because of the new green one, but there is not a spot for that one. So, yep. I don't know if I'll keep the purple one. The purple one's kind of old. It's got some paint chips. I don't know. I just got these two fresh ones now, plus the... The five pack version, which is pretty fresh and it's actually a really clean deco. So maybe I'll boot the purple one. I already got rid of my uh, orange ones, which actually I think I did. Yeah, I did them on this side. So. And now, oh, uh, let me see here. I got five left. Perfect. So these do have spots in the case. I don't know what order these go in. Okay, I think this one's older. Let's get some more Matchbox. 2016 Chevy Colorado Extreme. We have this one and the blue version to open up. So let's just... Boom. trash can is very full now let's pop them both open why not i love the blue one with the black wheels look at the gray one first got a nice front end detail headlights chevy badge got your off-roading wheels these are very nice tail lights and i love the flat black chevrolet print on the back here and that's it pretty clean for what it is i mean deco wise the truck it's a little wild of course wish it was stock but i think this is an actual trim model of it isn't it and now i think about it this one might go good with that the gray dodge ram and now the new ford lightning 
and it's just plain gray. This one might be a little darker though. And we'll look at the blue one as well. I think the blue one's a little better. With your headlights, your Chevy badge. Still got the black trim. Nice tail lights, actually. They're different decals. No, same decals. And I think there's a red version of it coming this year. Or next year. Because I, I think they show... They, sh they s used a sneak peek of it. Different wheels, yeah. Or, well, no, they're the same wheel. Different color. I love the blue and the black wheels. That's an awesome combination. And before I put those in the case, these go right behind them. 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT. This one's kind of a funny deco. I don't care for it. I bought this one before... Well, I, I bought this one because I couldn't find the original red one. But thanks to a friend... A friend uh, got me one. Well, actually, he gave me his because he's getting rid of his main lines. So, which that I'll be getting that one in hand soon. I got to finish up the trade with him. I love the color on this one, though. So I might remove the decals on it. I mean, they kind of seem pretty tough because they are pretty thick. Remove the decals, wheel swap it. Probably keep the black hood though, I like that. I like that look. I don't know, but I don't know if I'll replace it or do what with it. But I do have a better version. Of course, nothing's better than the first release, but I do like this white one, so. Here is the white version. Pretty much cleaner than this. You got your stripes, which could have done without the hood stripes. I like the side stripe with the Silverado. Sports trucks. Pretty good looking truck. I just, just need uh, simpler wheels on it. And we'll put these in the case. So over here we have the Colorados. Like that. And then... Do these not fit? These might not fit. They don't. They don't fit. They stick out. I'm not, I can't shut the case. What if I put it the other way? Oh, okay. They fit the other way. <laughs> All right. That's that's better. Yeah, they're flush in there. Okay. So that, that leaves me with one more. That actually will fit in the case. And it is a Corvette. So actually not all trucks. Oh, no. I did have the Caprice earlier. This is the... 2015 Corvette Stingray. This is obviously the police version. You saw in the moving parts video, I did the regular version, which is similar, but not, not the same. But they do utilize the same interior. But that, that leads me to think, they haven't done this, and they probably could. If they're technically the same casting, why can't we just put the well i mean why can't matchbox put the civilian window piece onto the police model because there's nothing making this a police car besides the light bar and that's part of the window so they could do police moving parts and we could do stock main lines but they haven't done that yet they've stayed separate except the interiors are the same which is Makes me think they could switch the windows like that. Uh, and then, of course, the main line does not have an opening hood. This is an inserted piece on the main line, however. Well, this one is a metal. Probably even use the same base. 
I know they don't because this one's a 2015, this is a 16. Is that stopping them from changing the windows? I shouldn't. But I do have to add this one. So we'll get the Corvettes. I think that completes my collection of the police for, oh no, there was a Highway Patrol version of it too. Actually two of them for the nine pack, so I did not have those. But then here it goes. I don't know what goes here. Is it the blue moving parts? Because I don't have that. I don't know why I made a spot for it. Weird. Uh, because there's the 2019. So 16. Oh, I have the, the, oh no, the convertible one. The Hot Wheels one goes up here. It's got the, yeah, because <laughs> Hot Wheels did their convertible version. Maisto did a hard top. Matchbox is a police, and now they do a hard top. This is probably my favorite version of the Corvette, and everybody does it, so that, that's, that's good. Uh, but you can see the tail end of my Corvette collection, and then the very start of the Camaros. So, this one will be getting replaced, actually. Oh, I brought it downstairs, never mind. I got the, actually, no. This is a different casting. I already replaced this one. This one, I'm replacing with the, the new red one that just came out. Getting rid of the this one because it's rusted. And it's, I don't know, this is my terrible detailing. This is when I used to use paint to detail, and yeah, that's not good. Um, Sharpie is obviously better. And of course, I didn't even use white paint. I used yellow, which is terrible. So this will go to someone who can customize it and use it for something, not me. I could customize it, but I have a lot over there to work on. So, that is it, everybody. Kind of did this Lamley style. You got to see a little bit of the collection uh, and how I do my organizing. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.